Hello everyone, welcome to Bees Battlegrounds. I'm Bobby B, and today we'll be, we'll be looking at the Bricks and Bread accessory pack from Mesco Toys. So, let's get this bread. It comes in this box. Blank box. Inside you get three trays. You get 25 cash bills, 25 gold, gold bullion, and then you get 12 stacks of coins in the uh, duffel bag. And these are a blast. So we got our stacks of $100 bills. They look pretty damn good. You get 25 of those. You get your gold bullion. I'll get this to focus for you guys. And you get your double stacks of coins. You get 12 of these. And then you get your duffel bag, which I was shocked to find out that it actually has the Velcro feature for the handle. If I can get it open again. I had it open earlier. And it has a working zipper, which I was also amazed by. Um, those of you guys that, that know me, that don't know me, Destro, the Mesco Destro was my first Mesco, so I'm kind of very new to the, the brand. I've always seen it from afar, but then everything kind of piles inside. I put all the extra extra stuff inside to show you it all fits, but very, very fun accessory, diorama piece, set piece, whatever you want to call it, display piece. Um, this uh, super tiny zipper's kicking my ass though, but zips up, and then you guys all know how bag handles work. Let's grab the man himself for some size comparisons. We got Destro. Again, hold the bag. I think I just pulled his hand off. I did. My bad. There we go. Alright, let's try this again. A shitty and grin face. Can hold the bag. There's the bag in size comparison to him. We got a Valiverse Action Force figure. We'll give him the bag here. Get this weapon out of the way. There it is for size comparison to him. And we got a G.I. Joe Classified Crimson Guard. They're all about the money. I'm not going to fiddle with it to get into his hand for you guys. There it is in size comparison to him. Throw it over his shoulder here. Doesn't want to go. Alright. We'll go with the gold bullion next. Fits pretty, uh, Pretty good in his hand. Crimson Guard with the do some prying here. All right, Let me get behind it. And uh, for action force, I just have the uh, that C grip hand for the weapon. Just gonna knock my camera over here. We'll see if we can get it to kind of level off here. There he is. He just did a he just did a raid. They're checking out uh, El Jefe's hideout. Let's find these gold bricks. And he's like, "Holy shit! I'm not making enough." Looks good. All right. Next, we'll do the uh, stack of hundreds again. So they're all the same print with like a wash, so the wash is a little different, but otherwise they're all the same. 
Throw that in the, uh, let's move that stand. Destro's hand. Uh, is he holding the trigger hand? What's that look like? We can hold up to his ear like a gangster. He's like, hell yeah. That looks good. Definitely, definitely fun. We'll grab the CG again. Right in. So lots of uh, playability, especially when it comes to these Crimson Guards and their pay. Same with, uh, as I knock everybody over. Our compound raids on uh, El Jefe's compound. And the coins, you gotta use a little bit of imagination if you're holding two, two stacks of coins like this. I think they're mostly just for uh, display or set pieces, but they fit just as well nonetheless. I don't, yeah, I don't know why you'd hold two stacks of coins perfectly in your hand like that. It'd be a little, a little interesting, but it can be done. Like I said, you get 12 of those, uh, 25 stacks of the money, and then 25 uh, gold bullion. So now we'll do some comparison shots here of uh, other money we've gotten from in the past. You guys know I love my classified figures. So we got the Pimp Daddy Destro burning money. And then we got our, our stack of money. So definitely a size difference. Um, I mean, understandably so, but be curious to see if any customizers make some flames for, uh, for this. I don't know. Let me see if my, let me check my fire real quick as I'm launching my camera everywhere again. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. The only really, uh, small flame effect I have would be this, <laughs> this piece. And, uh. It's a little, uh, little out of size there. And then we got some WWE, AEW money, I think. I'm not exactly sure, but... Oh. Again, slightly off. Um, I guess it would just come down to which, which scale you're looking for. And then, last but not least... We have our Indiana Jones diamond that can be thrown into the mix here, I guess. I mean, it's basically just like a little bead. I wanted to put that next to your, uh, jeez, bullion. Add to your, throwing things everywhere. Add to your riches. Or your, uh, golden idol, or your wrong grail. So, uh, these, are, these are pretty similar in color. This is slightly lighter. This is more yellow. Get that to stay focused for you guys. But, there you have it. Did you guys pick these up? Did you guys skip out on them? Um, I don't. They were still available when it gave me the shipping notice earlier this week, so I'm not sure if they uh, they still are now. But um, you guys picking them up? You guys skipping out on them? They t I think it was. I think they were 25 each or so around there, give or take, um, from Mesco's website. Um, I'm blown away. Like I said, Destro's my first Mesco figure, and he he knocked it out of the water. I'm glad I got. Uh, Roadblock, Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow on the way, or coming eventually. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for these and get these into some shots. Um, 
give me a, a follow on Instagram. See the see how the shots turn out. But um, let me know in the comments if you guys are picking these up. Otherwise, load up, grab your kit. I'll see you on the battleground. Thanks for watching, guys.